Good morning everybody, it's your boy That's It Zach and today's video is going to be That's It Embedded Season 2 Episode 1 of the 8 week bulk, the road to nationals, the training camp, the breakdown, the calories, the food and all of that. So uh, before we jump in, don't forget to hit that notification bell, click that subscribe button so you guys know when the videos are coming out so you know when you're notified. Like I've said in the past videos that just came out, there's going to be a lot that's going to be coming out now, especially with the That's It Embedded videos coming out. So you don't want to miss out. So go do that before you listen to the rest. Take two seconds, pause the video, click it, that's it. All right, let's jump into the video today. Every morning we're going to be doing a weigh-in and then we're going to go make some food. We're going to eat and I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating, how much and all that, all right? I'm gonna show you guys what we're eating and then I also, just so you guys know what's going on, I plugged everything into my fitness pal so you guys can see the macro split, the calories, and everything for today so you guys kind of get an idea of what's going on. Started off with some buckwheat pancakes. I got a medium banana, got some raspberries, maple syrup, coconut shavings. This is sunflower butter, so that's gonna be the pancakes. Then we got a vegan tortilla wrap with spinach, avocado, and cucumber inside with a little bit of salt, a little extra avocado on the side because I only used half, and then just some cucumber pieces. This I finished, but it was coffee, uh, cold brew coffee that I made with coconut milk, coconut oil, and everything comes up to 1,500 calories or 1,400 calories for all of this. So the macro splits, if you guys want to see it, I'm going to put it up on top, but we got... 1424 calories, we have 35 grams of protein, 223 grams of carbs, 35 grams of fiber, which is like the daily for men already hit just by breakfast, and we got 49 grams of fat. Kind of backwards, huh? All right, let's do it this way. There you go. That's just breakfast. That's gonna be the first meal. We're gonna get a little bit of work done. We're gonna eat this meal. And then later today, I'm gonna show you guys the big chart of how we're gonna break everything down for this eight week bulk. I'm gonna take you guys to my workout today. And uh, yeah, that's it. But gotta eat, gotta get some work done. Got the laptop set up, got some things to do. Food time, and I'll see you guys in a few. <sighs> what up guys? So we're still working on the laptop, still got some stuff to do. Not eating yet, but I'm playing around with my equalizer bars. I find when you're sitting down and doing a lot of work, your body starts to get tight and you guys get all these tightnesses. So sometimes I like to take, I, not sometimes, I actually do this all the time. This is a little trick for you guys if you're constantly working, find yourself on a laptop. Um, number one, start changing positions. So you can either stand up, uh, put one foot on a little box and do your work. If you're sitting down, get up every 45 minutes to 60 minutes and do some type of movement. So I like to do like some dips, some L holds, some push ups, some inverted rows. I'll do a whole bunch of that for maybe like 10, 15 minutes, stretch my neck out a bit and then I'll continue working, increase the productivity, releases the stress, get your body moving, get the blood flowing, get the brain going. A little tip for you guys. So we're gonna finish off here, keep going to work and I'll see you guys when we're gonna eat another meal. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so we're taking a little break, and then we're gonna have another meal, which is gonna be meal number two. And the macros for this one, again, I'm gonna put it on the screen, is 850 calories. Protein is 50.9, carbs is 104.9, and fats is 31.7 grams. Those are gonna be the macro splits. This is pretty much what we're working with. We did like a tofu mixed bean scramble with some turmeric, black pepper, uh, drenched in uh, coconut milk. So that's pretty much this is. Added 250 grams of broccoli, added a medium avocado. That's all that's in here. You got a nice medium apple, because you guys gotta get them fruits in. You got some nice grapefruit, half of it. So we're gonna eat that and then we'll work a little more and then we're gonna head to the gym. I'll show you guys what we're doing today. I'm pretty sure it's leg day. So that's what's gonna happen at the gym. Then when we're back home, eat another meal and then we're gonna go through the eight week bulk for um, season two of That's in the Bed. All right, I'm gonna smash this, see you guys in a little bit. What up guys, it's study break time and another macro counting. So we got some chia seed pudding right here with some sunflower butter. We got some walnuts, coconut shavings, and cacao nibs. 
and I'm pretty much gonna like spoon this and eat the other one. Uh, the macros for this one is actually going to be 752 calories, 20.4 grams of protein, 26.6 grams of carbs, and 61.9 grams of fat. So that's gonna be the snack I'm gonna have before the gym because after this is gonna be gym time, which is gonna be in roughly an hour and a half. So this is a little snack that we're gonna have. I'm gonna have a little beetroot juice actually though, uh, about an hour before, that's all I'm gonna drink, but no more food, workout, come back home, get another meal in, and then we're gonna go through the breakdown of the eight week bulk and the whole plan that we're gonna do for this series. So uh, yeah, food time, I'll see you guys in the gym, all right? Moderate stimulation. Trapped in a nightmare, in my mind everything that I might fear And I fight to get by, get my mind clear Everything's picking sides and I'm right here I'm running from things that I've done in my past Hoping to become someone that could last Get out of my way, I'm on the attack Got something to say and I'm not holding back Don't be a little bitch in my way, I'll say it to your face I'd say it to myself and I'll put you in your place And this world is my prey, I kill without a trace Give a fuck what you say, cause they'll blow my way Make a buck from the pain, not enough, I'm insane Wanna leave a stain on this world, on your brain You will never be the same, grab the wheel, grab the reins Gotta talk to yourself, scare away all the pain oh. Who are you? Inside, I'm sick of never feeling quite right I'm gonna make a change this time You better do the same and climb Are you just a regret? Are you always upset? Do you need to reset? Figure out what's up next Trust me, take a deep breath Everything you'll forget This is now a real threat to every doubt in your head And we're back at home right now. We just made a meal. This is what we're looking at. We got two big smoothies. Call this my super green smoothie. We got kale in here, turmeric, ginger, camu camu, maca powder, um, cinnamon, banana, spinach, um, move protein powder, chocolate flavored. Uh, some cordyceps, lion's mane, reishi, chaga. And then, oh yeah, then we use the water and coconut milk to kind of just finish it off with three dates and one banana and then this little bowl we got some homemade black bean hummus spinach a handful we got some grilled uh, peppers i put some coconut oil on top of it and then under we have some mixed green beans and cabbage mix my mom took uh, some white red cabbage mixed it with a little bit of vinegar some salt and that's about it the macros for this meal so dinner, we got a total of 1,030 calories. Protein dinner is 42.48.2 uh, grams. The carbs for dinner is 138.7, and the fat is 35.8. And so far, the percentages that we got, pretty much what I was aiming for. So this is what like it set me, but this is the numbers that I have chosen to do. Especially that I'm off camp right now, and I'm not trying to lose too much weight at all, really. So. I'm in an excess of calories, especially because I'm doing less cardio. I don't have my two a days all the time, and uh, training camp only really starts in like the next couple of days. So I'm gonna bulk up as much as we can, and when that happens, I'm gonna have to eat even more. So this is just for now. The total calories thus far for today: 4,056 calories. Um, I think I only burned 3,200, which uh, is probably gonna go up in the next four hours. I'm gonna have to eat a little more. But as promised, we're gonna go through this eight week bulk, how much we're eating, what the split is, what the training program is gonna look like. We're gonna down this meal first, and then I'll catch you guys when we go through the plan. Now, as promised, for the end of the video, let's go through the eight week training program to nationals. This is gonna be the complete breakdown of how the workouts are gonna look week by week, what I'm gonna be doing, what I'm gonna be focusing on as the weeks go by. And this is pretty much what I like to do for my training camps because it really keeps me on point so I know what's going on. So, 
First, we got weigh-ins. We're always gonna have an official weigh-in all the way until fight date, so I always make a section for that just for the weigh-ins, all right? Uh, I find this very important, even though that your weight might fluctuate a lot, right? Depending on, did you have a lot of water the night before? Did you eat the night before? Did you not? Like, that's always gonna play a factor. Did you go to the bathroom in the morning before? So I typically always like to do the same thing where I'll stop eating the same time and I'll go to the bathroom and whatever I follow my morning routine, which is pretty much like, take a cold shower and go to the bathroom and then I weigh myself, I follow the same thing just to find the differences and I can really see how my weight's uh, changing as the weeks go by. Now for macro split, these are gonna be the macros. These are gonna be the macros for week one, which is like now till about week three to four. So I'm gonna need a minimum of 4,000 calories. That's because if I sit down and I do absolutely nothing, I burn roughly like 3,200, 3,300 calories. And I'm trying to go in a bulk here where I need to be in a surplus of 856 calories every single day. So that's why the minimum is gonna be at least 4,000. And the maximum when I start going back to boxing, well, is gonna be a high of 5,800. That's because I usually have my two a days or my three a days and I burn roughly 5,000 something calories. So I'm gonna to need to eat almost 6,000 calories just to make sure I don't lose any mass or anything like that. Now, for the complete macros, the protein is gonna be at 0.8 times my weight in kilograms, which puts me at roughly 150 grams of protein a day. My carbs and fats, it really depends when I'm on a bulk. I don't have a preferred amount. I like to decrease the amount of insulin spikes I have a day, so I tend to veer more on the uh, fat side of it and I still have my carbs but again I'm trying to bulk here so it really doesn't matter for me personally I kind of just split it the way the day is uh, if I fasted that morning and again if I'm on a high of 6,000 calories I'm definitely almost not fasting like I'm gonna do a minimum of 12 hours always but on a high day I'm definitely not gonna fast more than 12 hours because there's no way I'm gonna eat 6,000 calories of plant-based vegan food without having to go get a burger or something and I hate doing that so that's not happening. Now for when the cut is going to happen uh, for weeks four to eight my max will be 4,000 calories because then again I told you guys I burn almost 5,000 calories so I'll be in a deficit of a thousand and my minimum will be 2,800 where if I sit around and do nothing and just walk and have like a normal day I'll burn roughly 3,000 something calories so I still want to be in a deficit so I'll be in a deficit of roughly a couple of hundred calories. Now, since I'm not trying to gain any muscle mass and just hold what I have, I'm gonna be consuming 0.64 times kilos, which would put me at roughly like 80 to 100 grams of protein a day. My carbs go down to 20 to 30% and my fat will be anywhere between 50 to 60. And this is because I did the same thing for my last cut where I was consuming my carbs roughly at the end of the day. Uh, if I have my two a days, I definitely put carbs in the middle of uh, the workouts because like I said, my sport is glycolytic based, so it's carb based. I'm gonna deplete my stores and depending on the workout, right? Like if my morning workout is really hefty and the second one I know is lighter, then I won't have carbs, I'll save them for later. But if I have two really intense training sessions, definitely gonna have carbs in between there. And the max amount of carbs I go up to is two to 300 grams and that's about it. Now, for the workout routines themselves, okay? Like right here. We're starting off hypertrophy, eight to 12 reps for week one to three and four. It's pretty much gonna follow a push-pull legs type deal with the lifts being 70, 90% on my one MR. Um, so we're talking about bench, overhead press, front squat, deadlift, weighted pull-ups, weighted dips, and abs every single day. I find just working your abs every single day is a little bit better for me, and I don't wanna be too sore, so I like to maybe one day focus more on core type drills. Other days work on, you know, leg raises, crunches, side crunches, work the internal obliques, external obliques, really just play around with that. Again, within like these workouts, I'll add a couple of, you know, flies and lateral raises and everything like that. But like these are the main lifts that I'm gonna be doing on these push-pull leg days. Uh, for weeks four to seven, so this is roughly where the cut's gonna be happening. It's gonna go back to my full bodies three times a week, mixed of strength, calisthenics, plyo, and power, and power is mainly gonna be six to eight, but I'm fighting on the eighth week, so more like four to seven. Um, I made a little graph so you guys can see, which I made a video about, and this is pretty much how it's gonna look. So I'm gonna be doing my strength and speed strength from weeks one to four, 
my peak power will be from weeks four to seven so we're talking about explosive type drills like snatches and stuff like that and my speed strength and speed will be weeks five to seven so this is like adding in just like that little bit of extra plyo training or speed training and stuff like that uh for the hit because i know everyone's gonna ask zach do you do hit for boxing yes i do and that's gonna be happening roughly three times a week one for the upper body so from weeks two to seven i'm gonna be doing my hit trainings three times a week and for the upper body it'll be a mix of battle ropes or bag and for my lower body it will be either sled or sprints for like a sled thing or a sprint i'll either do like you know 40 40 yards there and back on the minute every minute for like 10 minutes and for sprints i'll follow maybe a 30 15 uh 20 10 and stuff like that uh, for battle ropes it'll be same thing either 30 15 20 10 or I'll do a series, take a bit, uh, a break, and stuff like that. For the bag, it'll be sports-specific combos that I'll be doing really fast, really hard, and get that heart rate elevated. It'll be the same type of deal, uh, maybe 15 on, 7 off, 20 on, 10 off, and it really just depends, but that's what the hit trainings are mostly going to look like. Now for recovery, again guys, cold showers twice a day, every day, one in the morning, one at night ice bath once a week this is going to be done at my athletic therapist place uh, recovery workouts one to two times a week so we're talking about zone one so my heart rate is going to be a hundred uh, under a hundred beats per minute one to two times a week to let my body recover uh, get rid of metabolic waste and all of that mobility training I do mobility pretty much like every training session in boxing, but to really do like a full hour of mobility, I'm gonna be doing that roughly three times a week. So I'm gonna be focusing more on my shoulders, my T-spine and my hip, and that's gonna be done three times a week. And then we're gonna finish off with sauna three times a week. That's what's gonna be happening. That's my recovery protocol. Also, we're gonna add one long run a week that's gonna last 60 to 90 minutes at submax, heart rate zone two to three. So again, we're hovering at a roughly about 120 to 130 beats per minute, really low pace, long distance, just to work my aerobic system. And then again, I know someone's gonna ask me about supplements. So supplements I'll be taking is gonna be creatine, beta alanine, protein from Move Protein, vitamin D3 and K2 together omega-3 algae and a multivite because of the excess vitamins that I will be burning and losing through my sweat because of the intense training. But this is the plan guys, this is it. Have it down, have the weigh-ins. You guys will see how everything is going on week by week and see how the trainings look and all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are excited for the series that are coming down. And uh, yeah, it's your boy, that's it Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee, peace.